got Jack Stevens here, more commonly known um, as Squid. Squid, why do we call you Squid? Oh, I don't want to get into it. It's a long story. Schoolboy days. Okay, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Anyway, we've got uh, Jay Cheaty's 250th this week, and I uh, thought I'd just pick the brain of a young up-and-coming superstar of the Sturt Footy Club. What do you think about Jay Cheaty? Tell us a bit about the man, and, and tell us uh, if he's had any impact on your career so far. Oh, Sheedos. Um, yeah, great man. Have the utmost respect for Sheeds. Um, remember playing my first game last year. Sort of straight away comes up to you. Ever since then, he's been like a good friend. I don't know. Like he's just a, he's a great supporter of all the bo all the boys, especially the young boys. Um, he's a funny funny guy. I don't know he really loves the club, and it's going to be. You know, congratulations to him for making his 250th. That's good, Squiddy. Nearly got a bit emotional there, boys. A bit choked up. Um, no, just nervous. Just nervous? Yeah. Ah, very good. Well, you know, she's is playing. He's, he's 250. How many games have you played now? Uh, about 10% of that, actually. 24, so there you go. A bit of a mathematician here as well, so that's good. Um, has, uh, what, what's something that really stands out to you from Sheeds about the way he is or, or what he's about? Uh, definitely his leadership. Um, he's a great communicator. Um, I don't know, there's so much respect for him around the club, uh, he's got so much experience, it, it, even how he plays obviously, like, gets 30 every week, gets, uh, you know, he, he's got all the history, so, you know, all of those things combined to make him, you know, a great leader and a great, a great club man and that, all that sort of thing. Well, as you see there, Blue Tube fans, it's uh, Jack Stevens on his thoughts of Jade Sheedy and very much respect a bloke around the club and, and thanks for your time, Jack, and thanks for sharing your thoughts with us. No problem. Thanks. Enjoy. Yeah, uh, Fraser Evans, he's been out for a few weeks, but uh, he's back this week, hopefully, and, and uh, with any luck, back into uh, playing this week. Fraser Evans, thanks for having us. No worries. Good to be here. Good. Hey, uh, mate, uh, just uh, got Jade Sheedy's 250 this week. Yeah. Obviously, you've been out for a few weeks now. Firstly, um, what, what caused you to go out, and, and where have you been for the last month? Um, I've been playing with a little bit of a cartilage tear in my meniscus, so in my knee. Um, and that has just caused swelling the last three weeks or the previous three weeks before I left against the, I finished up against North, had surgery and then yeah that's held me out for three weeks now. So hopefully, hopefully return this week against the Eagles but maybe another week. Had a bit of surgery in the middle of the season, that doesn't happen too often, what, uh, what went down? Uh, it was just an arthroscopy so just a clean out, um, trimmed up some cartilage and uh, yeah nothing major, just, uh, just a clean out. Very good. And are uh, you hoping to be back this week or just wait and see how you go for training? Yeah, well, hopefully the aim is to train all this week and uh, if I can get through that with no swelling, then, um, yeah, hopefully play. So if he comes back, people, you're going into Jay Cheedy's 250th, which is a fantastic effort from the great man. Um, you've been around the club for a while. You've seen Sheeds in action. Tell us a bit about him and, and uh, what comes to mind when you think about Jay Cheedy. Uh, Sheeds has um, obviously been the captain the whole time I've been at the club. Uh, not really one of the intimidating blokes when I first came to the club. He actually sort of approached you and was always willing to have a chat and really got around the young guys, um, even though he was so highly respected amongst all the boys. Um, yeah, Sheeds is just a, just one of the one of the guys, and, and the more you get to know him, the more you realise he's just a, just one of the boys just like you, but just an exceptional footballer. So, yeah, I've got a lot of respect for Sheeds. Very good. Um, you know, Do you know what he does away from, uh, away from footy? Oh, not a lot, I don't think. Um, I think he's a builder, actually. But no, I don't. I don't really know what he does away from footy. He just uh, looks after the kids. He reckons. Would you get Jade Sheedy to build your home for you? He's a, he's a builder. Would you get him to build your house? Yeah, he's very trustworthy, so I'd let him build my house. Ah, very good. Um, that's about all, all the questions I've got for Jade. It's probably pretty poor interviewing on my question uh, on my behalf. But uh, thanks for your time, Fraser. Good luck with training this week, and uh, hope to uh, hope you get up to to run out with Sheeds on his two fiftieth. No worries, I hope so too. Cheers, Inji. People, we're, uh, we're on the hill here, so Johnny Greenside looks as tall as me. This is, can be deceiving, but uh, he's just a little man. Look, here we go, that's, that's a bit better. <laughs> but, uh, mate, the reason we've got you here today, Jade's coming up for a big game this week. Do you know what game he's playing? A uh, number a lot. I don't know. <laughs> It'd be more than, a, more than what I thought. 200, 300? 250, mate. 250, yeah. come on. <laughs> so, uh, He's playing his 250th game. Has, he, has uh, Sheeds had an impact on your career at all? You've, you've just come into the league this week and probably were pretty close to being best on on the weekend. It was a pretty poor game by the Double Blues, but you performed quite well, took the opportunity. Um, did Sheeds have anything to do with that to start with? But, uh, you know, on a serious note, what, what kind of impact has he had on your career? 
No, nah, yeah, Sheez has been good. He's always, uh, uh, me and him have always got along. Like he's always, um, he's been like the like a real older like brother, and like he's really he's a good mentor as well. Especially because he plays in the same spot as well. And um, no, nah, we always have good fun, but he always has good advice. Always, I try to look out for him to see what I can work on and what sort of things he can uh, teach me and stuff. But um, he's just a really good leader as well. He's got really good, uh, yeah, leading attributes, and um, he's just a good bloke in general as well. Thanks for that, John. I noticed you said he was a real older bloke. <laughs> um, have you have you got for for the list or the watchers out there? What's uh, what's what's the name of the great sheets? Nickname, sorry. Oh, fossil. Yeah, old fossil. <laughs> old fossil. There we go. No, that's right. Um, on your own form, mate, you'd be pretty happy with with your own game last week. But just tell us a bit about the game. How did you found the, the step up? Obviously, you've had a few chances before. Why you played well this week, I guess, and and how you see yourself moving forward. Uh, yeah, no, the, the few games that I had before, I just knew that I was with some, like, some big names, so I didn't, didn't want to step on any toes, but I didn't take on what I wanted to do and just do my own thing. I was a bit, uh, a bit hesitant just to say, oh, no, that's so-and-so's bowl, I'll let him have it. But this time I just took it under my own game and just did what, I, what comes natural. And um, even though, yeah, it was a pretty poor game by everyone, but you know, I just thought, just go out and do my own thing and do the, stick to the team rules, but um, no, I stick to um, what I know best. Very good. And, and how are we going to go about changing it this week? Obviously, we, we'll have Sheed's little bit of inspiration with his 250th, but that won't get us over the line. How are we going to change it around? What do we need to do to uh, turn the corner? I think it's just uh, skills in general, just hitting skills, um, just uh, sticking to the team, try and not invent heaps of stuff and just um, just look after each other and just have a real crack, I reckon. Get back to basics, you think? Well, there you go, guys. This is Johnny Greenslade, and that's what his thoughts are on the great man, Jade Shetty. And uh, we've got a bit <laughs> happening here. It's all good. So we'll catch you next time.